Christian Prince on uh, on three points, which he got badly smoked on. Uh, the first point, uh, his perversions and just wait, peace of Christ, guys, to everyone. This is Osama Abdullah, and he right away the Muslims they start saying they debate me and they smoke me. Well, you know what? If the debate was a smoke to me, why you have to? Why you need to make 100 video to explain what happened in that debate? If it was a victory anyway, and if it is a victory, who is stopping you from coming to me again and debate me again to have more victory? You coward, potato. Now, let us see what he is saying here. The video is simply he made a lot of videos to explain each time he debate me why he got humiliated, why he lost. Like those Muslims are the same one uh, who who do gambling. Uh, they try to answer me in their audio, but the fact that each time they do it, they prove me right. Listen carefully. The twisting of King David's uh, story in the Noble Quran and how he tried to lie uh, by saying that Allah Almighty allowed for Muslims to marry basically goats. Okay, I tried to lie saying that Allah he allowed Muslims to marry goats. Well, let us see. The story of David is in the Quran. Did David say, my brother, he have... 99 goats and I have one. Here we go. I'm not the one who's going to explain it. This is a chapter 38 verse number 23 as you see in the front of your eyes. Here we go. And this is your Muslim Jalalain explanation. He is saying there that my brother uh, have 99 uh, 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 which mean women, present women. Here we go. Here he used to present women. So you Muslims, you, even your women is a goat. Even your women, the Quran calling women wives as goats. So when you say to me, oh, it does not say that, you are a liar. Now, in here, yes, it's present to women, but present goat at the same time. Because goats and women in Islam is equal and the same. And let us prove that. He said in his audio that I got this from an article. What article, you liar? This is Sahih Muslim. This is what our debate was about. Sahih Muslim, hadith number 525, the book of menstruation. Read with me, guys. Here we go. This is the explanation of the hadith. If the hadith about not, it's not about Muhammad having sex with a, with a, with a goat. The hadith says that his, the prophet, he put it between her four legs. Look how filthy the prophet is. Why a prophet of God, he would say he put his penis between her four legs. Four legs of who? Have you ever heard about a woman, she have four legs? The Muslim, they say those are four legs of a vagina. I never heard about a vagina have four legs. But anyway, let us assume that this vagina of a Muslim woman is different, have four legs. Why the hadith explanation is saying this? This is the explanation of the hadith made by the, the, the Muslims, the mullahs themselves. Our companion have said that if the penal head has been traded, a woman anus or a man anus or an animal vagina, it is anus. Then it's necessary to wash whether the one being traded is alive or dead, young or old. You have to wash if you put your penis in women anus, men anus, even men anus, brother, mashallah, brother, or animal vagina or its anus. If it is haram for you to have sex with animal vagina or anus, why he is teaching you to wash your penis after you have sex with it? Dead or young or alive? Alive or dead? You Muslims, you have sex with dead men and dead goats? As you see, or what they care in here is about is about washing. Washing, you know, if it, which one is more important? Do you think I should say to a Christian man, if you're a woman, you have to do wash your penis after that? This is the important now. The man he just rape a woman. If raping a woman anyway is is going to take him to hell, who care about washing his penis to, to pray to God? This is what God is worried about: washing your penis before you pray to me. What about having sex with a donkey? That is not going to bother Allah. It's very clear it doesn't bother because he concentrate on that. In the same time, if we go down in the hadith to the end of it, we will see. If a woman insert in her vagina an animal penis, she must wash. And if she insert a detached penis, dhakran maqtuan, the most accurate of the two opinions, she must wash. So what is important is not your wife having sex with a donkey Cutting the penis of a donkey, dead or alive? No, it's about washing your vagina. If it is unlawful anyway, why you are teaching your wife to, or your women, to wash their vagina after having sex with animals? Detached penis? 
of an animal penis? That explains a lot of things. Let us go and see more. Muslim women, men, not only they have sex with, with goats, they have sex with anything. This is Ibn al-Qayyim, and this is his name, the name of his book. Bida al-Fawaid, the Ibn al-Qayyim, page number 129. I'm not the one saying that. This is your Islamic website, Ansar, uh, uh, answering ansar.org. This is a Shia website exposing the Muslim Sunni, but they are giving a reference. That's what we care for. We base everything we say on the reference, not in our claim. Here we go. If a man make a hole in a watermelon or a piece of dough or a leather skin or a, 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 a statue and has sex with it, then this is the same as we have said about other types of masturbation, i.e. that it is halal in the same circumstances given before. Brother, in, in fact, it is easier than masturbation with one hand, mashallah. This, this, the, your mullah is very expert. How he knew that having sex with the watermelon is better than one hand? He must be practicing that. And what kind of a filthy mind will make a man thinking about having sex with watermelon? Unless you Muslims, you are perverted and you have a mental problem. So you can marry a goat, you can marry a watermelon. Everybody in the world buy watermelon to eat them except Muslims. You can, have, you, can, you can marry a dog because this is marriage in Islam. Any sexual relationship is marriage because always, it's, it's always lawful in marriage unless she is your, your slave. Watermelon is not your slave, so it must be your wife. Piece of dog? You want to have sex with a bread? Even bread? Leather? S statue? So if we take a Muslim, to, to the, if we take Osama bin Laden to, to the museum, he will be busy having sex with the statues there? MashaAllah. Those guys, if they see any open hole, they will put their penis in it. Even if it's a tree, I hope there is no bees there. Is... What about a Muslim man? He goes inside the kitchen, he sees the sink. There is a hole there. Please don't turn the disposal machine. You will hurt his penis. It's very clear, you guys. You go to any hole. What kind of mentality you Muslims have to teach such a teaching? Not only for the men, by the way. Here we go. If you go a little bit, you will see that the women, you know, she can marry uh, the same. If a woman does not have a husband and her lust became strong, uh -oh, then some of our scholars say it's principle for the women to take an ekrembage, which is the piece of leather, worked until it became shaped like a penis and insert it in herself. She may also use a cucumber. Huh? Is that what you teach to your Muslim sister? This is the morality of Islam? I was debating a Muslim, he said to me, I have no problem if my wife, she buy a cucumber to have sex with it, as long as she eat it as salad after she finished with it, because I don't want to waste the money. Look how cheap he is. Or what he's worried about the price of the cucumber. Then they will say to you, I'm getting this from articles. No, this is your Islamic Sunni book. Actually, if you go to Fox News, you will see that number one country in the world who search for sex with donkeys is Pakistan. Is that, there is something wrong there? Absolutely. Now, let us go to the second point he's trying to say. Uh, which I've exposed him badly on it mm -hmm. and forced him to even change the, topic change the topic after he got embarrassed from his life. You don't change the topic, you idiot. The whole topic is about having sex with animals, and we did not change the topic. Anyway. Uh, point number two, his sick lie about Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, using uh, the foul word, the F word, which he never did. I've demonstrated from Arabic with Arabic analysis and proofs that the Prophet of Islam did not use foul word uh, during his time because the word meant, quote, sexual intercourse, end quote. The modern day Arabs have developed the word into a foul word today, but the word was never. Ah, today it is the F word. Before it was not. Before it was, I love you. Uh, before it was intercourse only. Ah, let me prove you as a liar. First, what was the F word in the time of Muhammad? The same word. You're a liar. And let us prove it. Here we go. This is the book of Al Muhadrat, volume number three, page number 253, chapter number 15. And the story is very disgusting. Read with me. A drunk man was carrying 
and this is in the time of Muhammad. Don't tell me this is today. This is about the time of Uthman, which means a few years after your prophet there. A drunk man was crying and said, if, I, uh, if only I were to apprehend a killer of Uthman, he will do revenge. What he will do? Look what he said in Arabic. كان سكران يبكي ويقول لو عرفت قتلة عثمان فقال له مخنث ما كنت تفعل if I know who is the one who killed Uthman a homosexual heard him and said what he will do he said I'm going to F them the same word you see it you liar you said this is just intercourse now are you telling me that a Muslim a decent Muslim man who loved Uthman is going to do have sexual intercourse with the killers of Uthman He's making love, or he is saying to them the F word as an insult. You see how liar you are? It's exactly the same word, you liar. And this is your Muslim translation. And the Muslim translation, they say, the drunk man was, etc., apprehended the killer of Uthman. A homosexual asked, what would you do? He replied, I would sodomize him. They are trying to be nice, and they did not use the F word. It is the F word. And he just agreed that it's the F word. But he's saying it's today the F word. Absolutely false. It's about doing the F word, especially when you use it in such a manner. Anything is in ugly way. You want to present it in ugly way. If you want to insult, you use this word. You don't use any word. Any word. You don't say, I, I will sleep with them. No. You don't, see, I'm going, you don't say, I'm going to have sex with them. No. This is a physical F meaning word. It's an insult. It's a way of fear. And look what happened here. The good Muslim, after he said that, I'm going to if those who killed Uthman, the homosexual said, Hey, I killed Uthman. Man, the homosexual, he liked the idea of the punishment. Then the Muslim, he put him down, the homosexual, he put the homosexual down in his back, and he started having sex with him. And, and, the way, and saying this is, a, this, is a, this is a revenge for Uthman. Revenge. So the word and the, this word in here, I don't want to say it. Actually, I have to say it. Any, it is not, it's not as uh, uh, you claim that this is not an F word. Because he's doing it as a revenge, revenge. Don't tell me he was making love. I love you, brother. I love you. No, he's doing revenge, you liar. And look, the homosexual from underneath, he said, huh, you know what, if I know the, the, the revenge of the killing of Uthman is going to be in such a manner, I have killed Uthman every day. So why Muslims do lie? Because they are ashamed. What kind of religion this religion is? Look, advice to have sex with the cucumber, advice to have sex with the, with the, with the, with the donkey, with the camel, with the goat. And not only that. Let us show you something else. This is the website of the government of Saudi Arabia. And uh, Osama, he said himself that Saudi are a bunch of pigs, idiots. And he forgot that his prophet is one of them. But anyway, this is the book of Al Ibn Qudama, Kitab al Hajj, the book of Pilgrims of Hajj, and Hadith number 2387. He said, there is no difference between having sex in the front or in the anus, to a human or a, to an animal. And this is what I agree with a shafi'i. A shafi'i is one of the biggest, 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 big deal imam for the Sunni. The Sunni have four schools. Any Sunni in the world have to belong to one of them. It's a must. And a shafi'i agree with that. And Abu Thawr agree with that. And Abu Hanifa agree with that. And Malik agree with that. Agree about what he said. What? And regardless of this issue, that having sex with an animal will not destroy or will stop or disturb your Hajj, which means your Hajj will be valid even if you have sex with an animal. And this is the page number, and this is the book name. I can show it to you from Al Qurtubi, Al Tabari, Al Tabara, any anything you want, all over Islamic books. And you know what? Maybe people will say, well, he's shown us something in Arabic we do not understand. Maybe he's lying. I will copy in the front of your eyes and we'll take it to Google Translation. Copy, paste, translate from Arabic to English, translate. Bingo. Here we go. Read with me. 
it's a principle it's no problem to have sex with to have intercourse with animal it's not going to does not invalidate the hajj you see it to have sex with animals go down hadith number i hate those windows uh, uh, hadith number two three eight seven there is no difference between intercourse in the front or at the back actually it is about the anus from a human or a beast there's no difference human or a beast this is animal translating translation in google translate as a beast no problem this is the view of abu thawr and this is the view of abu hanifa and this is the view of al malik Mal imam malik abu hanifa and even a shafi'i what is the view that having intercourse with an animal does not invalidate the hajj do you see it and you are saying to me it's me who's saying that i am making it up you liar what's wrong with this religion because they cannot answer they want to give us a speeches about morality islam have no morality whatsoever your prophet is the only prophet who allowed people to rent women for sex and having sex with animals is not something new for you it's part of your religion even boys in the heaven you will you will have they will never bleed if you got you know everything is about islam is about, is based on sex everything what about the prophet of islam is teaching the muslim if a stranger want to get inside your house you order your wife to give her boobs and he have to suck it 10 different times what, what kind of religion everything is based on sex i have to suck your wife boobs 10 times and that will make me a, a good customer to go inside your house this is the madness of, your, of islam and they want to teach us about morality isn't it funny they cover their women with the burqa but we can suck their boobs And this is the name of the book and this is exist in sahih muslim sahih al-bukhari and by the way this is was a chapter in the quran as you see in this hadith in front of you book number eight uh, hadith number three four two one and this is in sahih muslim there was ten suckling in the quran and they became five we cannot find the ten we cannot find the, the five because simply the goat did ate them the goat ate those chapters everybody knows even the hadith says that so when you muslim try to give us morality don't claim something you don't have you are a follower of muhammad cucumber breastfeeding for adult having sex with it with, with the with the uh, uh, with watermelon goat donkey cow is part of your religion and if your god is so, so good he will never promise you everything in heaven is about sex everything you pray you fast you kill you die to get one thing something is a gift for your penis this is what islam is about it's about a penis and a vagina it's a sexual religion 100 percent why a muslim he fast why a muslim he pray why a muslim he, he you know he he go to war simply for one reason for the sake of his penis not for the sake of his god because he want to go to heaven so he can get the 72 horny women each one of them her butt is one mile size as it says in Muslim Ahmad as Muhammad he said and one day you will get screwed because there is no unlimited you know even he said to them that Allah will make your penis in an endless palm tree penis they believe in this what a bunch of idiot Christ is Lord Islam is false 